A lot of strong opinions tonight about St. Paul's rent control policy that was passed by the voters back in November. Tonight, a task force designed to examine that policy presented its findings to City Council. Fox 9's Rose Schmidt joining us and Rose, the public making their feelings known about rent control tonight at this hearing. Well, Kelsey, voters last year decided that residential rent increases should be capped at 3% within a year. A task force has recommended that policy stay in place. But as we saw tonight, there are a lot of differing opinions about this topic. I come to you today saying that we need to respect what the voters voted for in November. Renters and housing advocates say the 3% rent cap that passed last fall should be here to stay. I, to this day, do not understand why we worked so hard to pass this ordinance. We got almost 10,000 signatures on the ballot and we won by a lot that why were we tasked to do this? A group of stakeholders created by St. Paul's mayor was tasked with examining the city's controversial rent stabilization policy. The task force made up of renters, developers and more. 41 members met 15 times over five months, recommending that the 3% cap should be maintained but exemptions should be made for landlords who make the case they need a reasonable rate of return. But not everyone supports the policy. The clearest path forward to bring back housing projects and preserve rental housing in St. Paul is to repeal this ordinance. We continue to strongly oppose the rent control ballot initiative, maintaining our deep concern about unintended consequences for such a proposal. The task force also recommended a 15-year exemption on any new construction so as not to slow down new development. As several of the members told City Council they weren't treated fairly during the meetings. It's almost like this was already set up for us to fail anyway. It was like us against them. The task force's co-chairs acknowledge the challenges they face discussing this controversial topic. Uh, there's a lot of kind of raw feeling uh, on this issue. You know, we know we need more housing in, in St. Paul. Um, and we know that we need to protect our residents, and especially our black and brown residents. And remember, these are all just recommendations from this task force. Now, no action was taken tonight, but city council members did say that this report has given them a lot to think about. Live in St. Paul, Rose Schmidt, Fox 9. All right, Rose, thank you.